this is Amy. I appreciate you stopping by. Hope you'll take time to view my entire video so that you can see how I do this lovely design from the beginning step until the end. And we're going to go ahead and get started. This is uh, my version of a camellia flower and the buds. I will be using two flat brushes a number 10 and a number 12, which is folk art, apply, actually plaid, one stroke brushes. My paint is going to be folk art, berry wine, thicket, vintage wine, or, I'm sorry, not vintage wine, vintage white, excuse me on that, and sunflower. All right, I'm using stemless wine glasses. They've already been cleaned and they're ready to go. We're going to start with using the number 12 flat brush and I would be using the berry wine and the vintage white. Double loading my brush and basically that's how I do it. Then I'm going to be going around the, the glass and making basically kind of like a C stroke We're just trying to make it as round bring it out as much as possible that's a little high as far as somebody having contact with it with their lips but I'm going to continue to go with it this paint is actually non-toxic and the main thing with painted designs and glassware is if you have a crack in the paint and bacteria can get into it that's where a problem can be because then bacteria can get into the little cracks and possibly cause issues health issues for somebody that's eating off of it or drinking from the glass if if they're ever should become a, a crack in the paint. It's not the paint itself because the paint is actually non-toxic. I read things that say you can actually eat the paint. Not that I recommend that, but it's just like if, the crack, if it cracks and bacteria gets into it. So I'm going to go over, do another row. Just keep going, keep turning the glass as you're working. And you can do maybe three, three to four layers of petals. My nose keeps itching. Just a very, very easy design. And if you're new to my channel, that is my intent, is to create easy designs for new painters to be able to paint. And it not be something that's difficult and hard to follow. Now, reverse this. All right, I'm just going to keep going with it. And we'll just keep turning it. That's one thing nice about painting on glass is that you can just keep turning it as you're working and you're not stuck. Whereas if you're working on a wall and you make a mistake or you're trying to do design, you certainly can't turn the wall. You have to just learn to turn your brush and keep going. Now, if you ever watched my my latest video where I did the uh, stemless glass I was having an issue putting my fingers in the paint so that's one thing you have to keep in mind when you're doing these glasses since there's really not a good spot to hold on to and here we keep going Keep going, keep going. And then I'm going to just go make a the inside of the 
flower and just finish it off. And we're just going like that. I guess it's very easy. It's just a matter of doing the same stroke and turn in the glass as you're doing it. Alright, so then I'm going to go straight here with the glass. It looks like I might need to put another petal in here. It's like you get into these layers and kind of lose, lose count here. Alright, so then I'm going to go into the center. And you know what? I'm going to switch over actually to a smaller brush. So when you get into doing the center, it's not very big. So that's one thing you have to judge when you're painting is when it's time to actually pick up a new brush. And I don't mean new as far as brand new brush, but if you are painting a design and you need to know when it's appropriate to switch to a different size. And see, I'm just doing just a quick little like that and that's my center. Then I'm going to stick with this brush and this is where I put in some, I guess you would call them buds, different types of partial, partially opened or not opened at all parts of the, the flower design. And then on this next one, I'm going to do like a little wiggly design. And let me start and just wiggle, wiggle my brush and just kind of end it. And then I'm going to and then pull it up like that. And I'm going to have a few layers here. And you could even end it off with maybe just a smaller layer at the bottom. It doesn't have to be, you, know, you can do it like that or, or end it with just three, three rows. And then I'm going to come out here and add one that I'm turning around and having the berry wine out here in front or on the top basically. All right, so then once I'm done with that, I'm going to go around back here, pick up my bigger brush again, the number 12. I'm going to scrape some of the paint off. It actually looks like I got some green in it. Anyhow, I'm going to go and I'm going to paint a similar flower on the opposite side of what I just painted. And again, I'm just up and pulling it around. And again, if you feel like you need to go over it again, by all means do. Because the thicker your paint, the more durable it's going to be. And then you just keep going. It's just a very, very pretty design. And a pin of glass. It's just such a neat, a neat way to serve somebody when they come over to your house. Whether they drink or not, you can actually have other types of glassware painted. I mean, even just daily glassware can be painted. The only thing is, is you've got to keep in mind, you don't have to hand wash them, but if you want the design to last a long time, it is recommended that you do hand wash, but they are dishwasher safe if you place them on the top rack of the dishwasher. Definitely do not place them in the bottom because that's where the heating elements are and you're going to end up with no paint on your glass or some partially removed. I'm just going to keep going around this. 
I'm going to connect it here. And you just kind of have to eyeball these two where you think you should stop and start. You'll get a feel for it. The more you paint, the more you'll get a feel for it and have a good idea where you should place your designs and such, if that makes sense. But I think this is a fun activity if you want to even have a girls' night. You have your friends over, get some wine, some snacks, and go to town painting. And each person goes home with a, a fun glass to remember your evening by. That's not so bad. Like on this one, I'm probably going to put just some extra, extra little strokes in the middle there. And then like I did before, I'm going to pick up my smaller brush and then ta um, paint in the center. Now I'm going to just kind of offset it a little bit over here. There you go. And then I'm just going to pull in some little strokes. And there you go. Oops, and I looks like I put my finger in it. See, I knew I would. I knew I would. Well, somehow or another I'm gonna have to fix this. Oh, that's not gonna work. That's what not to do. Don't stick your fingers in it while you're working on it. I don't do that either. I mean, if you have to, you can correct it, but I think it'll be fine. Probably should do it with the smaller, smaller of them, smaller brush. I just knew it. I knew I was going to do this. And it's hard because I don't want to have to go through all the painting. I mean, technically, you could just wash it off and start again. But since I'm doing the video, of course I'm not going to do that. I'm going to just work on it a little bit. Try to fix it up. Alright, so I'm going to do very similar to what I did on the other side. I'm going to put in some, some buds. You can make this a, fl a fatter type of uh, bud too if you want. I'm going to go ahead and do the wiggly. I just kind of wiggle it just up and down. And then I'm going to put the next layer in. Like I said, it doesn't all have to be the same amount of layers from one side of the glass to the, the next. If you feel like that's sufficient, then leave it at that, and I think it's fine. So then, same thing I did over on the other side, I'm going to just do this darker bud right here and do that. All right, the next step is to put the greenery in, and I'm going to, actually I kind of did, did it with both, but I think I am going to still do it with both, but I'm going to switch off with my smaller, smaller brush at some point here. Alright. Alright, so on this one, I just did some kind of a thicker leaf looking doodad around it. Just made a little stem. And again, I like my my leaves and all to be more opaque. So you may see that I'm going to be going to be painting over them just to And then I'm going to do another one. And on this one, 
Well, you know what? I might go ahead and do this one. On this one, you can do, you can do your thinner ones, but I'm doing them a little bit differently on this glass than I would what I would typically do. And it's okay to pull in some of the the burgundy or the berry wine, whatever you whatever you want to reference it as. It's okay to pull in some of that. Then I'm going to do a bigger wiggle leaf here. And I'm going to turn my glass and come back around and do it on this side. And then just pull it through. Alright. And then on this one, I am going to put another one down here. You just kind of have to look around your glass when you're putting on leaves and see where where there's a void, where you feel like maybe you need to have a little something and then go from there with it. On this one too, I think I put a little... It's different than what I typically would do. Oh no, it's running. I got water on here. Alright, so we're going to keep going here with it figure that out here. Alright. I'm going to do these kind of fat. These are just kind of odd, little odd shaped flowers that go around it. Put my little stem in there. Like that. And then do these kind into this. Still pull your little stem in. Alright. And then I'm going to come here and do a little bit thinner, but still, still a thicker look. Bring it down. And again, it's just a various a variation of what I typically would do. go like that down in there. I think that's fine. Now if you want to put little little stems in your in your leaves, go ahead and do so. Don't have to, but go ahead and do so. And I think I am going to you see here do another to go back and fix my other. Oh you've seen areas this is a, a good way to show you that you definitely need to make sure your glassware is dry. I did clean it so you can tell that because of the runniness. <laughs> my paint is running all over my painting. That's not good, is it? Alright, so I'm going to switch over to my smaller brush and again you, you might decide, hey, I just want to do all the leaves in the smaller brush or I want to do all the designs in the same brush. Yeah, from the get go here. And then just go like that. And you can, if you want, add another leaf in here. And I am using the smaller brush still. So I just want to put a smaller leaf in here. And it's okay to go over your designs. Not a problem. And do it like that. Alright. Like I said, you just kind of look at it and see, you know, back in here, maybe I need to place another leaf or just leave it barren. I mean it doesn't have to don't have to have them all over the place but I am a I am definitely a crazy leaf person. Alright so there you have it. So you got to see me make all kinds of mistakes and, and goodness and I'll have to go over maybe even just wash it off and redo it. 
and I'll have more water in it. Which maybe that's not a good idea. Get some green in here. Because I just suck my stuck my brush in it. Like I said, nobody's ever claimed to me to be the cleanest painter. But I think it's pretty. I mean, just even even with the mistakes, it still turns out to be a pretty glass. I mean, can you imagine just, you know, serving your friends whenever they come over in their own beautiful glass? So it would be, enjoy your red wine, and you're fine, you're fine, 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 painted wine glasses. All right, well, I'm going to end it at this. If you're new to my channel, make sure that you hit that subscribe button, the notification bell also that you give me a big thumbs up if you like the video. Share this with your friends and family on your social network. It's very easy to do. Just hit the button that comes up at the bottom of the video. And until the next video, I appreciate your time. Have a good one. <music>